let's see, we can make us a more complicated animation. I'm going to look at this cow here. So that's our eat animation that we just finished. That's my dog growling at the cat in the background. My husband's dog growling at the cat in the background. Okay, um, so we'll turn off the cycle there. Um, oh, I know another bone we need to add. We need to do the uh, lungs or belly bone. Um, so one nice thing about this is that um, we can add bones, joints, and even fix the mesh right in the middle after we've already rigged and animated, which is something you cannot do in Milkshake. So that makes uh, Frag Motion a superior choice for animation because uh, you can anim uh, fix things. You know, I, I could I could have ten animations done and realize, oh no, I need to add a new bone, and I can go back and fix it, and that's really cool. I like that, and I'm really glad that uh, my friend showed me how to do that. So, we're going to go here, and we're going to create a bone. We've selected the mid-back, and let's see, let's go ahead and go to the side view. That puts it automatically in the center, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to call it belly and then we select vertex shift and we want to just select the ones that will make it look like it's breathing might be those let's go ahead and make sure we got them on both sides yeah that's kind of important there we go. And we go to bone, assign selected vertices to bone. And I'm going to put that to s oh, 75, 70, 75, I guess. And I don't know. Probably. we got a lot of vertices signed to other things in there. I might end up having to reassign that 100%, but hmm. we'll leave it like that for now. It might keep it smooth. So um, and now then, I can, uh, let's see, now those bones, this bone hasn't been assigned to anything. Um, so I want to go to the root. We'll start with the first idle animation. And um, if I find it here on the list, you'll see how it doesn't have anything assigned to it. So I can go ahead and go to this uh, red button here. And I can assign um, animations to it and now it's got those animations and I can come here and now we will do move uh, a skeletal animation and here we will translate and we'll have it breathe out oh my mouse flickered so undo Okay, now then we can play that. That's not working. There we go. Now you can see how the belly is breathing and the tail is flipping and it works. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the root to eat animation. We need to put in keyframes here at the start and the end. And there's the end. So that's all filled in. So we'll do 
Um, another one in the middle, I think. 35 is halfway. So now then that's, that's normal. And then we'll go to about 20. And we will translate down. And we'll go to 55, translate down again. And now we can play. And see how that goes down and up and down and up. And it looks like the cow is breathing. And save. That's pretty simple addition we did there. It's nothing really tragic. So now we want to add a new animation. So we duplicate again. Right click on idle. That's my simplest one, so I'm going to use that one. Duplicate animation. Now I have an idle one again. And what shall we do? We need a. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we need. Oh, walk is difficult, but I suppose we're going to have to do it anyway, so might as well start with that. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I felt it coming soon enough to cover the microphone, but not soon enough to actually take the headset off. So, uh, sorry about the noise. Um, yes, I have allergies. I can't help it. Um, okay, walk. That's what we're doing. So we're going to come here. Maybe 3D animation so I can actually see a little better. And yes, we can animate in 3D. And we will do select bone. And here it can be helpful um, to actually find. Uh, oh, we're absolutely going to need it longer than 30 frames, at least 50. Probably more. So we'll go ahead and do the keyframe sliders and select and move those out to 50. Okay. Let's see. We'll go ahead. Let's just go ahead and move this out to. So if you hold shift. Uh, shift and you right click on the numbers it will select all of the um, animation sequences for every joint underneath it so um, as you saw me do there I, d I wasn't telling you sorry what I was doing um, so I right clicked on the 15 and it selected everything under 15 which I think is actually only one thing yeah um, and so then we also have some 20, so I can right click on the 20, it selects everything under the 20. I can right click on the 50, it selects everything under the 50. And now then, um, I can slide those over using the slide keys. So I have to hover my mouse over an actual framed motion. And that will push it out there. I can slide it back if I want it back one. Although that messes up everything in the front, and I click undo because I don't actually want to lose my first. Um, it will push things forward too, um, off the screen as you saw. Um, I can go out a bit so I can see 65. Um, I, I can, can unselect. And just move that, which is also going to move this dot over here, even though I don't really want it to. Um, I can do move key, and then that will just move this, and so I can move that there. Well, that's the belly, though, so I actually probably don't really want to move the belly. Um, I probably actually want to uh, duplicate this, so what I want to do is I can left click. So I'm just selecting those three, and I can copy and paste, and now they're over here. They always start at the beginning, and I can put those at 30, 
and then I left click in empty space and I'm going to select that one and I'm going to slide it back like that and I'm on the key sliders here not slide keys but move keys so I'm just moving the one thing I've selected and um, then I can actually copy that by selecting copy and then paste I move that over here and I have now created a breathing animation without actually moving any bones at all and so it will now be a nice long breathing animation that goes up and down and up and down and I never moved anything so I'm going to go ahead and move that there to 60 we'll do it there, that looks good and um, I may let's see what is those tail swishing looks like so let's go ahead we're not we don't want that tail swishing to be too slow there so I'm gonna do a copy and paste and I'm gonna move that here at 35 so the tail will actually be stationary now for most of this <laughs> or I might change that all together later but that's what I've got now so this is all the changes that I just made just by moving dots extending them moving them around so you can see the tail swishes and then pauses and that's exactly what I was wanting to do so the cow is breathing but the tail is swishing Now then, that's good. So I can go to there we go. And still on select bone. Now if I wanted to, um if, if I needed to know what does a cow look like when it walks, I could go to uh YouTube and search for cow walk. Um I'm going to give it a go first without doing that, but I may end up doing that anyway. Um, I've watched a few cows walk in my life. <sighs> and if I'm not mistaken, they start on the rear foot first, and then they move the front foot, and they're kitty corner feet. Now, if it's a camel, the camel moves both feet on the same side at the same time. Most animals uh, use kitty corner or opposite feet, opposite sides like left, rear, and front, right, and so forth. Um, so let's see. We will go here. We'll be on keyframe 10. And I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to use my key sliders. So that's going to go back. We try to use natural movements. Yeah, we've got some vertices there we need to fix. You see those there poking out in the wrong place, so we need to do select vertex. And I'm not using shift because I actually want these assigned to this bone. And assign vertices to selected bone. It wants them at the knee, and I want them at the thigh. Set. Uh oh. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it moved it to the ear because my red dot was on the ear for a second. Okay, how does that look? That. That looks bad. What is wrong? Something's wrong. All right, undo. Oh, I see. We have a lot more than just those that need to be moved. Okay, select vertex. This lets me see what needs to be moved. Okay, and then move that to the thigh and set. Yeah, I missed a few. And set. Still missed a few. Did I not change it? What's wrong? Oh, still just missed them. There we go. 
looking a little better. Got some right there. I'm so glad the tail is out of the way there. That's very helpful. And set. There we go. That looks good. Okay, now that n leg is moving a little more naturally. Maybe not perfect, but better. So I can close that. We'll perfect it as we go until it looks a lot better. But for now, that'll do. Um, I suspect these vertices right here are also connected to the knee. and I may need to change those, but we'll leave them there for now. So we'll go back to selecting the bone and move it forward. And we want that moved down. Uh huh. Breaking the leg there in the middle to do some more editing. Shift. All that needs to be assigned to this bone. So we will slide those over. Come on. Or we can write a number one in there if it's not going to let me slide. Sometimes it's stubborn. There we go. And that should be fixed. Looks much better. Very good. And now we go back to selecting bone. Selecting bone. Yes, thank you. So we have that. At keyframe 10. Keyframe 15. We're going to move up here. I'm going to move that out a little. That looks maybe a little too severe. Maybe it's more like running than walking. Um, oh boy, look at those vertices. I'm going to fix that. Okay, now we're going to assign those to a bone. Uh, make sure we're assigning it to the right bone. Select bone, that one, and one, and set. So that looks better. I think we might need to blend some of these here. It makes it's making that ankle look broken. I don't want it looking broken. Poor little cow and broken foot. All right, we'll do that at point five. See if that helps. Um, why is that? That is in the way. Well, that is not right. Select bone. Set. There. How's that? That better? Okay. Looks better. Now then, go to frame 20, and I want to move that farther forward, and I want that down.
And I think if I were to look really close, I have that same problem here with these. Yeah. So we will try blending that also at point five. better what is happening with that select that all right I don't know if that helped or hurt but we'll give it a try <sighs> hopefully it's better mm. now then we want to okay, find these bones where we're at. Now you can see when you're on a particular bone, it'll be highlighted in blue. Okay, I just lost it. Um, so like if when I'm there, you can see here, this bar goes across and it shows rear ankle and there's a blue bar across. So that's how I know where that is at. Um, and I want that to return to the default position just a little right at halfway or maybe a little past halfway. Okay, so the pelvis doesn't move. So we're going to copy these frames right here and copy and paste. And this makes sure we get it back to the position we want it at. And I could also copy the ending frame also, and that would also do that. And then I want to do the same thing with that, and so I find where that is located. I think that's up above. It is indeed. So I need to copy everything from the shoulder to the right front foot because all those are changed. So copy and paste and move those there. And now then, from this point Um, I also want to make it so that the back foot doesn't start very slowly lifting too soon. So I'm going to take its counterpoint and I'm going to put that stationary five frames earlier. Copy and paste. So we're going to put that right about here. And we're going to do the same thing with the rear feet. Okay, so there's the left pelvis and we will do right pelvis, which is the very bottom of our model. And we will do copy and paste. Because we don't want that to move while the other feet are moving except for maybe just slightly a bit before. Okay, and so we start to that at 10, so we'll go to 40. Because our, our real start point here is at 30. So this might be just a tad longer. And um, Okay, so we're going to start here. And slide that. Got quite a bit of movement here in the belly. I'll probably end up moving that. I'm just going to leave it for now, but I probably will end up moving that. Definitely need to move this. Need to fix those vertices. So select vertex. Uh, perhaps a more skilled animator. Uh, let's see. So let's shift. 
to select and alt to unselect. So I press alt if I want to unselect some. So you saw I selected some from the belly there that I didn't actually want to select. Uh-huh. See, here's some more. So I need to alt, left click to unselect. Shift left click to select. That makes sure I'm only getting what I want to get. And nothing else. Shift left click, shift left click, shift left click. Okay, now then. And we are going to select this bone and assign it to those. Another animator might be able to animate without fixing the vertices, but I find it better to just fix it as I go and uh, make that work. Uh-oh, I think yeah, I got some tail. Some tail verts are assigned to that bone now. So I need to choose these. All those tail verts need to actually be assigned to the tail. And not to the rear thigh. Um, there. Now they're assigned to the tail again. Okay, that'll be better. <laughs> okay, now then we can select bone and rotate and select the ankle and rotate. Yeah, that happens. Select vert. All oh, those are wrong. Uh oh, alt. Uh, that's not right. All oh, those tail verts still selected too. There we go. Shift click. Uh oh. I don't want those hoof verts. Just, just these. Nothing more. Just these. And only, see I'm right, uh, alt, unselect. Right click to rotate the scene. Right click and drag the mouse to rotate and look at that. Shift click there. Alright, I'm going to need a few more there. Shift click. Shift click. Right click and swivel, shift click, shift click. Alright, let's see if that works. Bone, assign selected vertices to bone. Hmm, make sure I have the correct bone chosen. I do not. Select bone, this one, and set to one, and set. That looks much better. Okay. Select bone. Now then, let's see. Rotate. Looks much more natural. And we will do this foot. in on that belly a lot. Probably need to unassign some verts there. Yeah, slide too much. There we go. Yeah. It's bothering me now. So we're going to assign these vertices in the chest. And this middle belly pieces. And these. And this and this. All those were kind of messed up too. And they need to be assigned to this bone, I do believe. 
so sine vertices to bone. Yeah, let's go and slide it all the way up and set. Some of those belly verts probably need to go back to the belly and not to there. Shift and click. Shift and click. And select it to the belly. All right, we'll try eight set. Okay. Back to selecting the bone. And rotate. You'll notice if I have no bones at all selected, I also lose my sliders. And of course that leg is broken too. Gotta fix the broken leg. Poor little crippled cow. Let's take it to the vet, fix this broken leg. There we go. That ought to feel better. Alright, now then. Bone assign vertices. One. And make sure we're selecting it to the correct bone. Set. There we go. Um, that'll work. So that's frame 40. 50. It's actually trying to go back down a little sooner than I wanted it to. Select bone. I think in this foot here, probably... I probably wouldn't be quite that far down yet. Alright, let's see. Something's wrong there, definitely. Need to fix that. What is that? Right. There.
that's not gonna work. That shoulder is really tweaked out. It's probably also messing up my perception of what is actually happening with the bones. So I think let's fix those vertices and see if we can make that work better. So we want to assign those to that. One, set, okay. And, all right. Now let's see, how does that look? All right, play. Oh, that's choppy. Why is it so choppy? It's not picking its knee up, is it? Okay. An either seam. So what we want here... Let's slide that up more and bend it some. Mm -hmm. Knee's broken. Well, let's fix the knee first and then we'll fix the animation. Window gets in my way. Yeah, that's the one I want to assign it to. One set. Okay, that looks better. Now then, let's get it up in the air. Okay. Front leg looks better now. So now we need to do this leg. Set bone. Pick it up. And the knee. Yeah, another broken leg. The cow has a lot of broken legs, doesn't it? That's because we did the auto assign. That's all right. We can fix it. Okay. Now then, right click and turn. Shift and click. All right. And we want it to this bone. And auto assign vertices to bone. Set. Oops, I think I had one in the chat set too. We'll have to see how that worked. Okay. Okay, now play. How does that look? Can its foot up and got something going on here. Where are those? All right, there it is. Okay, pause. Looks like we have a couple extra... Let's try deleting those. 
see if that smooths it out some. Okay. Smoother. Yes, yeah, smoother. I gotta just need to get the pause to forty. better. Alright, let me catch that vertex right there. Pause. Select bone. That is not working that way. Okay. Play. That's what I was trying to do. There. There. I'm back again. Well, the head's not moving at all. I understand. We have to fix the head too. We can only do little bits at a time, and getting the legs moving is is complicated. It doesn't look perfect yet. We've got some problems here in this front shoulder. Need to tweak those and get those looking better. But our cow is moving now in something resembling a walk, and uh, we could we could actually get this working. So now then, I think I want to go here, so pause, go back to keyframe 15, and I think as the cow is lifting its foot, it's going to take a little bit of effort here, and we're going to have it. Lean to the opposite side that you lift your foot. So I'm going to have the cow lean a little bit to the side and down here. Oh, and now I've gone and changed it, and I need to have it go back up. So we are where? Okay, so we'll copy that and paste and have that put at 30. Click. And then we'll go to 
and 45. And we'll have the cow lean down this way. Let's just walk in that way. She, have her walk in this way. There we go. That looks good. And I think each time the head goes down, the ears should go down a bit too. Oh, we don't want those horns moving. There's a fear to that. Okay, select. Vertex, shift, click. Shift, click. Click. Shift click. Shift click. Get those horn dots there without actually getting the ear. Select all those dots through there without selecting any ear dots. And select bone and the head bone. And we're going to assign those to the head. Set. There. Now then, the, the horns won't move with the ears. Very good. So now the ear can actually move. Oh, the eye and the whole side of the face is moving. This is not what I had planned. I need to get all this face dots signed to the head. Also, now we do have an eye in there. It's a movable eye. If I wanted to, I could put a bone in and actually have the eyes move. Um, I'm not doing that right now. And you'll see all these dots over here that would really mess up my animation if they were assigned to the head. So I need to make sure they are not assigned to the head. And select bone. Vertex. I'll have to snap together. That would be bad. Assign to bone. One. Set. Okay. And I'll betcha I've got the same problem over here. If I move that, yippers, indeed. So, select vertex. Shift click, shift click. And. Uh oh well yeah that's okay actually because those are all I don't want those however assigned to the head just head pieces assigned to head okay and select bone and set uh oh Undo, Alt click, Alt, oh, I'm on bone, Alt, Alt, Alt click, okay, now then select bone, alright, try again. Okay, fix the face. 
without messing up anything else. Very good. That's the goal. Don't mess up anything while you're fixing stuff. Okay, now then, back to the ears. And we just wanted to... Oh, man, look at that. There's some more birds that are still attached to the ear. What did they attach to the ear like that for? Whole side of the face. All right. Some of that's actually the neck, isn't it? All right. Okay, so vert, vert, bone, head. Nothing on the other side. Sign vertices to bone. One, set, click. Okay, now then, back to the ear. And, yeah. Those should all be the neck. So, left click, and shift left click, and select bone, and bone, slime vertices to bone, and one, and set. Okay. Done. So I didn't mess anything up. There. Now can I move my ear? No. No, there's still stuff messed up. Look at that. All the way out here. Where should that be? Sometimes you have to go to the default pose to even find where it belongs. Uh, probably... Either the top of the neck, face neck, oh, that should be top neck, uh, either top of the neck or the head, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess top of the neck, I'm also gonna rename that because it says base neck one and it should be top neck. And then we're going to assign vertices and set and see if our ear works better now. Right. Where are we? Oh, we're back to the walk animation now. And there we go. That's pretty. Now we have a floppy ear. Uh, we have some verts on that side messed up too. So pretty bad actually. Very bad messed up. So left click. Alt click, remove some of those. We're going to assign these to the head, I think. Where does that go? Yeah, to the head. Head. Come on. There we go. And sign to bone. Set to one. Set. Now, where are those others that were sticking out? Okay, select vert. Left click, and now then select bone, top of the neck, right, it is top of the neck, right, and bone, and select one, set, there we go, now then we're going to move that ear, down, well, actually first, see how messed up that is? Select vertex. And select bone. Select bone. There we go, got it. And assign vertices to bone. One, set, close. Now we can move the 
ear? Maybe? What is weaving now? I need to see this. What is that moving? Why is that moving? Those three there. Quick. Hmm. Let's try signing them to select this bone. I don't know if that will be the best choice, but we'll try it for now. One set. Okay, maybe I can at least move the ear without wiggling the face, which is the goal. All right, there's the top of the head coming out with the ear. Select bone. Sign verts to bone. Set. Sign more verts to bone. Set. Okay, select bone. There we go. Yay, it's working. Oh, that was a lot of work, though, for just a little bit of wiggles. Now then, we have... the ears. Come here, ears, ears, ears. Right ear, left ear. Okay. Copy. Paste. know how to do this so I guess here and we will just copy paste move that over here click there let's see how that looks think it's looking like a cow walking a little bit better now. With all different movements, a belly and the legs and the tail and the head and the ears. I think this foot here still looks a little odd. Nope, that's not what I wanted to slide. I want to slide there. Play. All right, let's save. Save as cow five. <sighs> now then, um, if I wanted Let's suppose if I had all of the animations done that I wanted to do, I could export this to milkshape format. And I would call it cow5. And I would save as milkshape format. And I would make sure the animations are included and I would say OK. You can change the frames per second here. And then I would load up Milkshape and export it to Torque DTS format or Colada. 
And that, I think, is enough for this session, as that was an hour just to make that one animation.